Mystery pack, a total of 1,078 pencil boxes and bags in 249 cartons. I think if you all read this whole question, right? Okay, what you need to understand is this kind of question is actually similar to what you used to do before. You know those guess and check question? Okay, you know those farms animal that kind of question, uh, yeah, right? Is. Yeah, those usually maybe you'll do guess and check. So but of course, when it comes to P4 or even P5, we will not suggest that you use guess and check. Okay. That's why we come in, I mean, we will teach you methods like assumption or supposition. Yes, okay. So this one is just to let you know, we can do by assumption. Okay, or worst come to worst in the exam, if you're not very sure how to do, you can always use guess and check. But that is time consuming and you've got to watch out. Okay, so 1,078 pencil boxes and bags in 49 cartons. They let you know that the pencil boxes and the bags were packed into separate cartons. With each of the carton holding either 28 pencil boxes or 7 bags only. Okay. What it means. Alright. You know last time when you have those farm animal questions, examples they use cows and chickens, right? They only let you know cows and chickens directly because you know that a cow has how many legs? A cow has one. Four legs. And a chicken? Two legs. Two legs. So they don't need to explicitly give you all these numbers, right? This one is different. This is like the cow with the four legs, but they need to tell you pencil boxes is 28. This is like the chicken, the smaller number. Instead of the two legs, they let you know seven bags. Alright? And last time when we have those questions, we will let you know the total numbers of animals, right? So this total number now, okay, is in the form of the total cartons. 49 cartons. It's just like the total numbers of animals. Okay? The 1,078 is like those total numbers of legs. Just that now, it's the total numbers of pencil boxes and bags. Okay? It's to let you have all these reference. It's easier for you. Okay. Part A. Ask for the numbers of bags in all. Bags in all, that means you're trying to find this, right? Okay. If you want to find the bags, then you will assume the pencil boxes. And we will assume that in all 49 cartons, they are only holding pencil boxes. So assume
I put 28 into a carton. How many am I left with? 100 minus 28, you get 72. Right? Okay, so back to the 100. If now I, I still have this 100, but I decided to put 7 bags, that means I minus the 7. How much left? 93. So what is this difference between the 93 and the 72? Okay? This difference is actually the same difference as if you take 28 to minus 7. The decrease over here. It's a 21. Alright, that's like 93 to minus 72 is 21, alright? It's the same 21. You put into you put pencil boxes into a carton, you put bags into a carton, the difference is a 21 gap. Alright? So this total difference of 294, if you divide by the every one gap of 21, what you get now will be the cartons that holds the bags. These are cartons that hold pencil boxes, right? Take note. A slight difference from those counts and chicken question is usually when we get this answer here, it will be opposite of what we assume, right? It is still opposite of what we assume. Except that our assumption is cartons. So at the end here, we will also get cartons. But it's cartons of the bags. So this one is cartons of bags. It doesn't answer part A because part A asks for the number of the bags. So remember, in one carton, you have seven bags. So if you have 14 cartons, 14 times seven. All right, so for part A, 14 times 7, you get 98 as your part A answer. 98. Alright, part A should be 98. Alright? Now for part B. Miss Lee paid a total of 15,400 for all the pencil boxes and bags. Total cost. One bag, $50. You are supposed to find the total cost of the pencil boxes. If they give you the cost of one bag, which is 50 right? Remember your part A? Alright, you already know the numbers of bags, right? So, since you know the numbers of bags, you can find the total cost of the bags. Okay, so please 